in this video i'm going to be show you how to manipulate your results or readings in optics for white physics practical and this is going to be on alternative b so here i have three possible questions that you can get and i'm going to show you the three ways that you can obtain your readings when given any of the three questions so the first one here we have this setup we have the ray bus the illuminated object so the illuminated object is the ray bus so that's going to give us the object uh the object for the practical then we'll have the lens placed between the ray bus and the screen on this side so the distance between the ray bus and the uh, lens is x and the distance between the screen and the lens is v so you are provided with a meter row lens screen ray bus and other necessary apparatus set up the experiment as shown in the diagram above measure and record the diameter a naught of the illuminated object place the object at a distance s is equal to 25 cm from the lens so object distance is going to be x then adjust the screen until the sharp image is obtained on the screen so you are going to adjust this if you are to perform the experiment until a sharp image is formed on this screen so the distance between that image and the screen is v measure and record the diameter of the image that's a of the image so the diameter of the image will be a and the diameter of the object is a naught measure and record the distance v between the lens and the screen evaluate y equals a over a naught p equals one plus y square over y and t is equal to x plus b repeat the procedure for x equals to 30 35 40 and 45 cm in each case evaluate a v y p and t so because of what they ask us to evaluate that's why you see that i have my table here but in this video what i uh, intend to do is to get the value of a and v so that you can then evaluate all of that for you so what we're going to do we're going to be using the basic uh, formulas for lens so this is the lens formula one over f is going to one over v plus one over u so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to uh, rearrange this to uh, make v the subject of the formula so just rearrange this and make v the subject of the formula then you obtain this uh formula here v is going to f u divided by u minus f now i'm going to take my f to be 16.4 in this experiment f that you are given is 15 centimeter but i i am taking my f to be approximately 16.4 because i don't want to get use the actual value so it's not advisable to use the actual value just evaluate just approximate the value so i'm using 16.4 times 25 so 25 is the object distance u which is the same as x so we're going to plug in all of these values into this equation to obtain uh, v so when we do that we're going to have v for the first one is equal to 47.8 meters then i'll repeat the procedure for x is equal to 30 i'll obtain v so from there we'll have this v is equal to 36.2 i'll do that for 35 again so i get v equals 30.9 so just by substituting all of this value into this equation, you get the values of what? V. So I'll do that for 40. Then I'll obtain V is equal to 27.8. Then I'll do that for 45. That's by substituting U into this equation. I'll get V is equal to 25.8. So we have obtained all the values for V by using this simple formula here. So next, we have to get the value of A. So to get the value of A, you are going to use the magnification formula. In fact, this what we have here is the magnification formula. So the magnification formula is known as M is equals to image distance divided by object distance is equal to the image size. In this case now, is the diameter divided by the object size so i'll just rearrange this formula to make a the subject of the formula then i have a is equal to what 
a naught times v divided by u so i'm going to choose a value for a naught so in this uh, video i'm choosing a value of 2.14 a if you are choosing a value for your a naught do not allow it to be too large something around 1.5 and 2.5 should be okay so from here now i cannot obtain a1 so a1 by substituting the values of so i'm using 2.1 for the value of what a a naught rather so i'm going to substitute the value of a naught and the value of v and the value of you remember that these are the values of you and there we are going to be using these values for that of v so i'm going to obtain 4.0 then my a2 i'll do the same for a2 by plugging it 36.2 here and 30 here then i'm obtaining my a2 to be 2.5 i'll repeat the procedures for all others then i'll obtain the value 1.9 repeat it for a4 then i'm going to have 1.5 then i'll repeat it for a5 then i'm going to have 1.2 next so that's that for the first part so for the second part we read through the questions again so in this case this is a bit similar to the first part but in this case you are determining u uh, v only and you then you are also to evaluate m and m eva so i was supposed to put m on my table here so i didn't i omitted that but that's fine so m but i'll show you how to get the m eva okay so on this to get the value of v we are going to use the formula again so you can just read through this to see what they ask us to do in order to make the video not to be too long so i'm going to add this so use the formula again rearrange this we'll get v is equal to f u over u minus f then substitute the values of u into this equation then we obtain this so the first one will get 447.85 so it's a bit similar to what we had um at the, in the previous uh question because the values of u are the same so substitute the value for the next one we get v2 as 36.2 substitute that same value for v3 we get the value of v as 30.9 then we get substitute for v4 that's 40 now for u we get 27.8 then 45 we get 25.8 now to get m so we are asked to get m m will always be v over u so i was supposed to put that column before this column so what you just do to get v over u you divide uh this by this you get v over u so that's that, that's what's going to give you v over u but to get m inverse then you now uh take the reciprocal of this so m inverse will be u divided by v then what we just do to plug the values of u and v into this then you get the values for this so i'm going to have this so i obtain 0 0.523 so i'm uh, evaluating this to three decimal places at least then i'm going to get m to 30 divided by 36.2 i obtain this then for m3 i put substitute the values again into that i obtain this for m4 i substitute the values i get this for m for i get this then for m5 i substitute the values again for v and u to obtain this so these are my readings so remember that i was supposed to put uh the column for m before this i inexplicably omitted that so you have to pull that and then use this formula to get the value of what m then before looking for the values of m inverse so all the same that's very uh, pretty very easy now this is the third part of the of the question which is a little bit more co uh, complicated than others so just read through this now from this you should note that this is l2 and this is l1 so from here we are taking the distances of l from the illuminated object okay so from here you can see that l2 must always be greater than what l1 because l1 is closer than the ray bus than l2 so you have to uh, note that l2 must have a greater distance uh, than the l1 so the next thing we have to do is this so you can just read through it you are giving the distances between the distance between the ray bus and the screen that's the distance between the object and the 
uh, image formed. So that's what we, are, what we are given. So what we are going to utilize on this is this. The same formula again, length formula. Then this time around, the distance between the image, uh, the image and the object is D. So you can see that when you add the distance between the object and the distance between the image together, it's going to give you D. So that's how I arrive at this formula. So for me, I'm going to make V the subject of the formula because the position of L2 and L1 are out from the ray bus are actually the distances of the, Im uh, the object U from the lenses. So I'm going to, uh, if I make V the subject of the formula to eliminate V from this equation, so I'm going to have this. So V is equal to D minus U. Then I'm going to substitute this back into this equation. Then I'm going to have 1 over F is equal to 1 over D minus U plus 1 over U. Then I'll find the LCM of the right-hand side and solve this out. So I would have 1 over F is equal to this. When I solve this, I'm going to have this. So you notice that the U would cancel out each other. So that equation becomes 1 over F is equal to D over U minus U squared. So then I'll cross multiply. When I cross multiply, I'm going to have... So I'm going to have UD minus U squared. It's going to FD. Then I'll rearrange this. On rearranging this, I have UD minus u square minus fd is equal to zero now you notice that this forms a quadratic equation in terms of what u so what i have to do to i'll rearrange this and remove the minus sign from u to have this so i have u square minus ud plus fd is equal to zero so i rearrange this then multiply through by minus so this is a quadratic equation so then i'm going to find the coefficient of u square u and the constant becomes fd so you have that now. So I'm going to substitute the value of f. So my focal length again is 16.4 that I've been using for throughout the uh, video. I don't want to use 15. So I just approximate it to 16.4. So here from here, you can see that my a is going to be equal to 1. b is equal to minus d. And c is equal to 16.4d. Then I'll substitute this into the quadratic equation. To have this so you now see that u is equal to minus into minus d plus minus d square minus 4ac into 16 plus 4d all over 2 so i have already worked out my d squares on this and these are the values for d so i'm going to plug them into this now so when i re i work this out i'm going to have d plus minus square root of d square then when i multiply this i'm going to have this divided by 2 so I'm just going to plug all this into these formulas. So plugging the values of D and D squares into this formula, we'll obtain this. And solving that out, we're going to have U1 is equal to 131.3 and U1 is equal to 18.2. So these are the two values for you. Remember that L1 is always shorter than L2, so, they, so I'll just record the values for L1 and what? L2. Then for the next one, we'll substitute the values of D square and D into this. We'll obtain all of this and obtain this. Then we'll substitute the values and impute the values here. So the smaller one is for L1 and the larger one is for L2. Again, we we'll go to the next one, U3. So we we'll substitute the values for D and D squared into this. Then we'll obtain their values. And then we'll have the values for the L1 and L2. So L1 will be 20.7 and L2 will be 79.4. Again, we'll move on. Substitute the values of 90 and uh, D and D squared. We'll obtain this. And then we'll have these values here. So we'll put the values and I'll put them here for this and for this. Then finally, we'll get the value for U5. We'll substitute the values for d and d squared so put them into the equations then we'll obtain their values as 41.3 and 57.0 so that's pretty what it looks like and that's how it is it's actually very simple just get a quadratic equation you uh, work out your values and you should be able to work that uh, your way out so thank you for 
find the time to watch this video and do not forget to subscribe and also do not forget to share this video and like and share your comments thank you see you in the comment section and good luck as you write your white physics practical tomorrow